creating curtain walls in Revit is actually really easy. A uh, curtain wall is just like any other family type. Um, so starting out to create a curtain wall out of this uh, curved wall at the bottom of the project, um, probably the easiest way to see the changes is to open up a 3D view of the project. To do that, go up to the very top of the window, click on the 3D button. This opens up a 3D view um, of the project. We can minimize this window and we can tile them uh, so we can see both views at once. Um, to change the wall into a curtain wall, um, just click on the wall. Uh, it doesn't matter what view you um, use to click the wall, both will, will be updated at the same time. Go up to the family type selector in the options bar and now you can um, pull down a uh, curtain wall exterior glazing and you can change its type um, with, with the pull down menu. Uh, I'm going to hit escape a couple times to get out of that function and we'll zoom in and by doing that it's set up a grid now that mullions will be attached to uh, for the curtain wall system. Uh, we can change all the parameters uh, just like you would change the parameters of any family. Just choose uh, the wall, click on the element properties button, uh, just look to the right of that pull down menu. It'll open up a element properties window. Um, and then to get into those type parameters, click Edit New. And you can start uh, adjusting the spacing and all those things in there. Um, I'm going to hit Apply, um, and it'll start changing those things. I'm going to hit OK, hit OK again uh, to get out of that uh, Element Properties window. You can start adding new lines to this grid uh, for mullions to be attached to by going to the Tool Tray, this time choosing the Modeling Tray. It'll bring up some curtain wall tools go to curtain grid and now you can start adding new lines um, to the grid. To start applying, I'm going to hit escape to get out of that tool. To start applying mullions to the grid, um, click on the mullion tool. Notice that the, at the option bar at the top that the pull down menu now has uh, different mullions you can choose from. Um, choose the type you want and you can uh, click on the line of the grid and it starts applying mullions to the grid. Uh, you can swap these out, use whichever kind you want, and you can start applying them to different parts of the grid. Um, the emollients are also a basically a family type and you can always choose them and select element properties and you can change their parameters too. I'm going to escape a couple times to get out of the emollion tool um, and say if you wanted, if you didn't want this entire wall to be a curtain wall um, probably the easiest way to change that is to uh, take that wall and actually split it in a couple places. That way you can uh, select the wall individually and you can change it to a different wall type. Uh, to do that, I'm going to go into the plan. I'm going to zoom in in an area I want to split the wall. Choose the split tool. Zoom in and just split it at a point. Um, and I'll come in and do it on the other side. I'm going to escape a couple times to get out of that tool. Um, now I can choose this part of the wall individually. I can come up to the, uh, uh, the pull down menu and I can change it back to uh, any other kind of wall type I wanted to or change it back to it's the 8 inch CMU. You can see in the 3D view um, that has changed it back. Um, if we want to precisely place that wall now, um, just apply a dimension to it. So I'm going to go to the tool tray, click basics, dimension. This time I'm going to use an arc length dimension. And it's going to ask me to choose first the arc length uh, that I'm dimensioning and then uh, the end. Um, I want to be careful with uh, which edge I'm choosing. So I'm going to choose, I'm going to use the tab key and go to the 8 inch wall. I'm going to finish by going to the other end pull it out and place the dimension. I'm going to hit escape a couple times to get out of the dimension tool. Now to change this wall length, I just click on the wall itself. You'll notice that the dimension did not highlight this time. Uh, if that ever happens, go to the options bar and just choose activate dimensions. It should highlight the dimension for you to be able to change the length and it should change it. Um, to now bring the curtain wall over, I'm going to go to the trim tool, trim aligned, choose the edge, choose the wall, and it should bring it over.